Hey guys, it's the last natural, and let's talk about hitting your mum at every angle. I mean, hitting a muscle at every angle. <laughs> and why I think this is ineffective training for natural lifters. The number one reason why hitting a muscle from every angle with high volume is ineffective for naturals is it doesn't focus on progressive overload. And I really wanna make people understand this. When people come in, and do these high volume, high intensity workouts, they're doing something they can already do. It doesn't matter if it seems so fucking hardcore but you're doing 20, 30 sets for a muscle group, you are very well capable of already doing that. And there's a good chance next week you're coming in and you're doing the same workout with the same weights and you haven't significantly added weight or reps to anything. So when people look at my program, which is very minimalistic, they need to understand that progressive overload is everything for developing your muscles. Let me ask you this, who do you think is going to have better rear delts? Someone who can deadlift 400 pounds for reps? Or an individual who comes into the gym once a week and does 20 sets of dumbbell rows with 30 kilos. If you think it's the latter, I'm sorry, you're wrong. The progressive overload on the deadlift is going to have built far better development in the rear delts of this individual. Why else is high volume, hitting a muscle from every sort of angle training ineffective? Because of diminished returns. The more sets you do for a muscle, the less you get in return. Meaning you might make 60% of the maximum gains you're going to make on your first set. The next set you might make 80%. The set after you might make 90%. But it's slowly going to go down and down and down after that. And eventually you're actually going to get to a point where you're going to reverse back the other way. So when people criticize my style of training, for not having enough volume. It's simply not true. It's just that my training hits the fucking sweet spot. It's a spot where you train just enough so you're not absolutely fucking killing yourself so you come back the next week and you can add weight to the bar. If you've added five pounds to every lift the next session, that is far more progressive overload than adding a few reps the next workout in a high volume, high intensity, hitting a muscle from every sort of angle workout. And I guess for beginners, hitting a muscle from every angle makes sense because you look at a muscle like the pecs, and there's lower pecs, and, up, and there's upper pecs. And they may look at my program and be like, well, where's the upper pec work? I'm doing this bench press, this is working my lower pecs, but what's working my upper pecs? And this is because they fail to see that the overhead press is a very significant upper chest builder and the progressive overload, although not a direct upper chest movement, the progressive overload on the overhead press, it's going to develop your upper chest in the same way an inclined bench press would, just through progressive overload. It may not hit directly, but that doesn't matter. The progressive overload is what's making it grow. You find me one lean motherfucker who overhead presses 220 pounds, 100 kilos above his head, who doesn't have developed upper pecs. And probably the worst reason why high volume training is not effective for naturals is that it's just not frequent enough. Progressive overload is everything in this game. And if you're training a muscle once a week, even though you're hitting it from every angle, doing all this volume for it, it doesn't matter because there's about five days a week where that muscle is not growing because we know that protein elevated synthesis only lasts about maximum 48 hours after a workout, and that's a maximum. Most of the time your growing is pretty much going to be done by about 24 hours. So there's all this downtime for that muscle where it's not growing. So the take home message of this video is, don't focus on volume and how many exercises I need to train a certain muscle. Don't worry about that because that is all secondary to the number one thing, progressive overload. As long as you're hitting your muscle group with a primary compound exercise 
and you're achieving progressive overload, you're going to get jacked. It is physiologically impossible after you've made your neural adaptations from initial training to get stronger without putting on significant amounts of muscle. So focus on progressive overload. Get those lifts stronger. So stop worrying about volume and all this high intensity training. Anyway guys, I'm The Last Natural and thanks for watching.